I ride my motorcycle over to your farm, do you have a place I can park it? I think I saw a spot out behind your farmhouse that would work. Maybe I could ride over soon. Well, you know what? You can have that spot permanently. <gasps> I accept as he walks away. <laughs> I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days. We engage a d In a couple days, I'm going to be living on a farm. I can't believe it. I'm happy though. Triple shot espresso. I'll go fast. I gotta run. I gotta go get my man. I'm going. I'm running. When you showed up in town, I never thought I'd be marrying you someday. Oh wait, that's cute as shit. Life is strange, huh? That's cute as hell. <gasps> my final wedding. Oh. Look at him. Uh, he's got like white gloves on and everything. Holy, j I should have dressed up. From this day forward, yeah, we've been through all this a whole bunch of times. Yep. Except this time it's for real. It's always been him. Oh, like half the town is missing from the crowd. Wow. You may kiss. Kiss. I love how Robin and Demetrius are dancing. I know they always do that, but now it's like, yes, now we finally got our basement free. We can put in a home gym or do, ha, give Maru a second room. Ha ha ha, because she's our golden child. Get this dude out of here. Oh my God. My children have entered their <laughs> goth phase. <base. laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not a phase, Mom! <laughs> Let's have a little peek see of his room. We got his computer, his tabletop games, this thing that is totally not at all a bong, like literally canonically, because Robin, I think, has a line of dialogue about how she found a weird smelling ashtray in Sebastian's room, so you yeah. know. Pelican Town wore me out today. Just like I knew it would, we got married today! The further away from town I get, the less anxious I am. What do you mean the town wore you out? We got married! Oh, damn it. Maybe I do gotta divorce this one too. <laughs> Where is my husband? <gasps> oh, he's out working on his motorcycle. Oh, we had a whole line of dialogue about how there's a space here just for your bike. Need something? I'll just be over here working on my bike for a while. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Neb, are you okay? Uh, oh no, it's, we have a problem. I think my child is stuck or he's turned into a bat. That, you know what, honestly, that would kind of track with his new aesthetic. You know what? I think I'll leave him there. I'm sure he's okay. Uh-oh. He's standing in front of his totally not a bong, debating whether I should work or just read comics all day. What I love about living here is how quiet it is. We don't have to worry about anybody else. We might as well keep the windows wide open tonight. Oh, oh, there goes Neb. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. I try to keep things in perspective when I recognize that everything is temporary. Everyone fades away eventually. Good morning to you too, husband. Yeah, sometimes I go a bit overboard with these thoughts, but I need them. Maybe that seems weird, but I really do. Okay. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> Mom's face lit up when I walked in. She deserves to be happy. She's, she's not even at the counter though. She's up here staring at a bookshelf. Robin, your son is here to see you. It was about when Maru became a teenager that I knew she was something else with machines. Of course you're talking about Maru, the fucking golden child. Nobody is surprised. As a kid, she would always take apart our electronics though she couldn't always put them back together. But eventually she reached a point where she'd put them back together in her own way with modifications. I'm really proud of how advanced she's become. What about her, your son who literally came into the front door looking for your attention? Robin, have you been to the island in a while? No. Oh my God. That's your domain though. Okay, Ellie, let's take a look at the farm before we start judging, eh? I got up early and fed all the farm animals. Oh good, they probably haven't eaten in weeks. I hope that makes your job a little easier today. Not really, because I probably wouldn't have fed them anyways, but I appreciate that. Looks like yeah. a perfect day for a ride on my motorcycle. You coming with me? <gasps> oh yes, babes, please, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. You look like you had a rough day. Does any particular part of you need a massage? Oh yeah, it was real stressful. Walking all the way out to the mailbox. 
and walking back. Oh, I'm just so worn out. It makes me happy to make you happy. <gasps> Stop it! Oh my god. Oh. We have a new cow. We gotta name this thing. <laughs> that just about sums up this whole playthrough, I think. You know? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's as good as it gets. Oh my god, Sebastian, where are you going? You going to look at a lamp? There's quite a lot of them in here. If I disappear for a while on my motorcycle, I don't want you to worry. I'll always come back. He's so sweet and so cute. Goddamn. But I'm so depressed. Oh my god, you're like Leah when you lamp the house. Sometimes the house needs a good lamping. Oh, is he a vampire? Wow, I'm so surprised. It would be interesting to have one of these on the farm. With the children here? Oh my gosh. Now, one thing I've noticed, I noticed this with the luau, the children were hanging out near Leah when she and I were married. Now the children are hanging out with Sebastian. Do the children wow. actually like stay closer with the other parent? I believe so. I didn't know that. We were out late at the Spirit Sea Festival last night. It was a good time. Sam and Abby always get into it. Could you not talk about Abigail in my presence, please? And I know you like it too, that's why I still go. Okay, I guess that's kind of cute. I suppose that makes up for it. <gasps> oh my god, his winter outfit. He's got a leather jacket. While your plans this winter, I know it's more of a laid back time for you. Oh, you can lay me back any time if you know what I mean. I'm gonna use a rain totem. Do I need to go outside to use the rain totem? No. Clouds gather in the distance. Oh! Oh, that's a cute hat. Oh, I love that. Hey, glad you showed up. There's an injured frog in that bush. I gotta save him! He loves animals, too. I need your help. Go over to that bush and try to get him to come towards me. I'll wait over here and catch him. Oh my goodness. We gotta save the froggy. I had pet toads when I was a kid. Okay, you ready? Now! Oh, there he is. There's the froggy. Got him. <gasps> Poor little guy. His foot's all mangled. Oh. It's our new son. We don't need Neb anymore. We have a replacement son. Ha, ah, yeah, I guess so. He's definitely got your nose. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's take him home. We save a froggy. This rain has me thinking. Are you down with switching roles tonight in bed? I think you know what I mean. I swear I didn't download a make all spouses horny mod. Okay, sleepy time. Cat, you're gonna have to get out. You're not part of this. This kind of season is perfect for late night rides. Don't worry, I won't <laughs> go if the roads are iced over. <laughs> I'm sure we did some riding last night. <gasps> it's a froggy! Our little friend's doing much better, see? But I don't think he can go back into the wild. He's not fast enough to avoid predators anymore. Cat, I'm gonna need you to back away from my husband. So I set up this terrarium. He looks happy, doesn't he? Cat! I wonder if he'll get lonely, though. Okay. Ugh. Why not start a frog sanctuary? A haven for frogs and toads who can't make it on their own? Not a bad idea. I don't like you standing behind me like that. It's giving me the heebies and the jeebies. I'm glad you found a new hobby. Yeah, it'll be fun. I spend a ton, of, a lot of time on the computer, so it's nice to have some real physical hobbies. Might even try my hand at some frog breeding. Oh my god, he gonna make the frogs fuck. Turn in the freaking frogs, frogs gay. gay. <laughs> Same brain cell. Today our family grew a little larger. Oh, the squishy sounds. And a lot slimier. As I mentioned before, I'm not filing the divorce papers for this one, but since we did get his 14 heart cutscene, Sebastian, obviously, is my favorite, being the final spouse. Also why I have a slight, huge, Bias against Maru. A large part of why I like him is because for me, he's the most relatable with how he feels like the black sheep of his family. 
He's very introverted and unsure of his place in the world, but not such to an extent like Shane where he feels dependent on love just to keep his mental stability afloat. Sebastian doesn't need to be with someone else, but throughout the relationship he does grow significantly and becomes a better person through the experience. He doesn't get married just to remove himself from a bad situation. Going through his dialogue and cutscenes, he seems like he genuinely cares, especially when he willingly gives up his admittedly ill thought out dream of moving to the big city, not because he has to, but because he's found more to love in Stardew Valley, literally and you know, figuratively. We've also got relatively similar interests. I quite like his personality. He is very laid back like Sam, but can actually act like a mature adult and be driven and have goals. And in my opinion, he is the most romantic and affectionate, but also goth daddy. Allie, I have a very important uh, question. <laughs> 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 Will you marry me? <laughs> um No. <laughs> no! You always look so great even after slopping around in the yard all day. I literally have around. I haven't even left the house yet. What do you mean? You always look so good even when you're slopping around like a little fucking piggy. All right, buy that fucking cock cock. <laughs> okay, we're going. We're going. Alrighty, it's time for the golden clock. It's time. Oh yeah, it's just six spaces. This is easy peasy. There we go. We'll put it right there. Right. We summit. Cat. <laughs> yeah. Cat. <laughs> Did we just cheese it and get two golden clocks? Uh... <laughs> what? We have no money left. Cat. <laughs> What? What did you do? <laughs> I didn't know I could do that, <gasps> honestly. Oh my god, we're rich. <laughs> no, we're not. We're fucking broke. We spent all our money. I didn't know that could happen. I didn't either. I saw it happening. I was like, maybe we'll go into negative. But that'd be cool. <gasps> Perfection tracker total complete. 100%. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Now what? Now... I think we go to sleep? I think we go to sleep. <gasps> you feel it in your heart somewhere, somehow, Grandpa is beaming with pride! The legacy, the legacy of Villain Farm, Farm, Farm is, is eternal! eternal. Ah! Oh look, Paris. <gasps> oh shit! A rumbling Whoa. sound was heard in the distance! Y'all, it I is- what, I know what that is. It is far too cold for these birds. <gasps> oh, there's a star drop over Grandpa's shrine. Um, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> did you just break the fence? No. Where am I meeting you? The island at the- The Island? The Island at the volcano caldera. If so you say, such shall it be. Oh wait, I'm literally going the wrong way. For it shall such be as you say it is. If such that is quite for it, it's now so uh, with- So must it this, say, be um, said, be is, <laughs> is said. Is be, be. Hello. Oh. There's a dude. There's a monkey! What the? You received a question mark, question mark, question mark? What is this? It's a hat! I don't like this. <laughs> it's a little nightmare inducing. I'm, I'm, I'm not just gonna lie. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take that off. <laughs> I love seeing you walk through that front door. As soon as I see you in your dirty farm clothes, my mind gets dirty too. Sebastian, please! Dude's down bad. <laughs> Why won't anyone talk to me like that? <laughs> Cause you're not married. Get shit on. Is it here? Oh, <gasps> yep. There it is. A golden egg. A bye. And now, <gasps> I hatch. Now we wait you. three days. The gickin chicken. <laughs> Bungus, come on! Boma, Linu Pili, Gesko Gek. Oh, I liked Gek. Sack. <laughs>
It has to be Sack. <laughs> I'm usually pretty quiet, but how about we get loud tonight? I'm all yours? Sebastian! Hey, I brought your plugs. <laughs> None of these words are in the Bible! A sparkling golden chick hatched. <gasps> There's a baby. <gasps> wow, it just looks like a normal chicken. <laughs> it's this way, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I've never done this before. I've never achieved perfection in any save file. <gasps> the rock is gone! The boulder is gone! Oh my god. Oh, this is oh, this is quite a walk. I didn't realize how big of a walk this was. Oh, I should have chugged some coffee. <gasps> oh, that's Sebastian. Oh. For me, it's Mayor Lewis. <laughs> Get fucked. Hey, Leah. <laughs> Surprise is not Crobus. Yeah, I don't know. Great view, huh? I was just thinking about the last six years. Almost seven years. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? Uh, we? But, uh, sure. Oh my god! Oh, it's fucking- it's, it's Maru's robot! It's Maru's fucking robot, Marilda! Holy shit! That's a nice touch. But look how far we've come. Oh. Before I met you, I spent most of my time turned away from reality because I thought I'd never find happiness. But you've shown me that the world isn't such a dark place after all. Stop it, I'm gonna sob. That's one of the reasons I love you. Oh, there is a crow carrying Krobus <gasps> across Krobus! the sky. <laughs> and the dwarf. Yeah. Mayor Lewis has <laughs> stuff to say to me, too. Oh my god. Oh, there's the wizard! Oh shit! And the witch. We just got a whole parade going by in the sky. And a bunch of fairies. A whole bunch of fairies. Aliens? Last time I saw this many fairies was at Seattle Pride. <laughs> this is Grandpa's theme. What? It's been a long road. You challenged yourself to reach the summit. What an accomplishment. We've been watching every step of the way. Okay, but why is Mr. Key here? Mr. Key is to your grandpa's corpse. <laughs> You've made us very proud. Okay, it looks like grandpa's giving us the finger, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> like double birds. <laughs> hey, you did it! Fuck you! Well, I'm both relieved the series is over since now I can actually start other long-term playthroughs I've been wanting to do forever, but it's also kind of sad. We've come a long way since this series started. We've been through a lot individually, a whole bunch of ups and downs. Since it has been quite a while and after enduring this entire experience, unsurprisingly, some of my opinions have changed since this series began in terms of spouse ranking. I've even posted a bunch of shorts videos going into more detail why certain characters rank where they do on my personal list. So, you know, insert shameless plug there. So go check those out if you want to tell me more about how wrong I am for hating your favorite. A lot of people already are. It's kind of amusing in a way how some of my Stardew videos are some of my most successful content because it started out as something that was relatively low effort but still fun to do. And I had no idea that a lot of those videos would grow to be as big as they got. People are really passionate about their fictional video game love interests. What can I say? If for some reason we were to restart the series from today, my updated spouse ranking would go something like this from worst to best. Shane, Maru, Penny, Sam, Abigail, Alex, Emily, Elliot, Haley, Harvey, Leah, and Sebastian, you know, to no one's dismay, goth daddy still reigns supreme and he forever will. So I guess now you have to go rewatch the series again in that order for the proper experience, you know? Emily really jumped up in your estimations. She did. She really did. Penny went way down. Alex Penny's went down a bit. 
it's taken us about two and a half years of almost sort of consistent playing, but now we can finally say that we are no longer star doing it all. We star did it all, have five. That's not to say that we, or most likely that I am completely done with Stardew Valley here on this channel. I have an idea for something I want to do in the future. I've chatted about here and there called the ultimate modded Stardew playthrough, making use of way more mods than we did in this series. And so much of it is going to be completely new to me. I've never really played around with the Stardew Valley expanded mod or any other content mods. Lots of things that drastically create a whole new experience in Stardew Valley, which I'm very excited about. Of course, if anyone has any recommendations for mods, I should include please do let me know. I can't say for certain exactly when that will start. It may be put up to a vote against another long-term playthrough for viewers to choose. Maybe I'll wait until the 1.6 release, which the developer is said to be including a lot of things to help support the modding community. Really, who's to say? This is being recorded in July, 2023, and at the rate Stardew videos are being released, y'all will probably see this sometime next year. Either way, we're certainly not finished with Stardew Valley. It's just next time I'll be on a completely new farm doing some other type of shenanigans that's gonna take another 84 years to finish. Oh no. Is there anything you would like to say, Kat, before we go? I've earned my freedom from the time wizard and now my time has come. This is the last you'll ever see of me. You've been relinquished. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Absolutely huge thank you to Kat for joining me on this journey. And until next time, I will see you folks later. Bye bye I'm gonna take this real quick. You don't need this anymore. This is the final thing that needs to be done. There we go. <laughs> yes, destroy now, the relic. Now we've star done it all. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe you wouldn't marry me. <laughs>